Have you ever wondered where Bengaluru gets its water from? Once known as the city of a thousand lakes, today most of Bengaluru's water comes from the Kaveri River. Every day, we draw enough water from the river to fill 584 Olympic-sized swimming pools. This water travels 90 kilometers up an elevation of 350 meters to reach the city. The Bangalore Water Supply and Sewerage Board, the city's main water utility, racks up an electricity bill of 3 crore rupees a day as it fights gravity to pump this water to the IT capital of India. Despite this, water from the Kaveri accounts for only 51% of the city's fresh water supply. So where does the rest come from? To better answer this question, we at Well Labs documented Bengaluru's water balance. An urban water balance is an overview of how water flows through a city. What are its sources? How is it stored? And what happens to wastewater? To put it simply, it is a city's water income and expenses. A water balance is crucial to resolve Bengaluru's water problems, which vary through the year. The city often floods during the monsoon, and water bodies and groundwater sources dry up in summer. This leads to a dependence on water tankers which transport water from afar. With climate change and extreme weather events, understanding the city's water flows becomes even more important to ensure water security and resilience. So let's dig deeper into Bengaluru's water balance. Along with water from the Kaveri River, the city relies heavily on groundwater. It amounts to 49% of the fresh water supply. and costs 2.7 crore rupees a day to pump out from the ground the biggest water consumers are the city's homes and residential complexes followed by commercial properties and industries the bwssp takes care of half of the demand through a network of pipelines the other half is sourced from private bore wells and tankers the problem is that public water supply is concentrated in the older central parts of the city The rapidly growing and densely populated suburbs are at the mercy of expensive, unregulated and unreliable systems. While rainfall percolating through open spaces and water bodies replenishes groundwater, increasing urbanization has encroached upon these landscapes. It has led to Bengaluru's rate of groundwater extraction significantly exceeding the rate of recharge. The result, Bengaluru could eventually run out of groundwater. To prevent this, some residents and organizations are attempting to make the most of the city's rainfall through rainwater harvesting. According to one estimate, Bengaluru harvests rainwater that can fill about 8 Olympic-sized swimming pools. But this pales in comparison to the potential of treated wastewater. Bengaluru generates enough wastewater to fill 776 Olympic-sized swimming pools every day. The government treats most of this water in centralized sewage treatment plants. Complementing them are decentralized plants, of which Bengaluru has the highest number in the world. There are over 2700 of them in apartments and commercial and industrial complexes. Despite these, a quarter of the waste water flows untreated into rivers and lakes and pollutes them. Only 5% of the treated waste water is used within the city for domestic and commercial purposes some of the treated waste water is sent to bengaluru's neighboring districts where it replenishes lakes irrigation tanks and the groundwater however most of the treated waste water flows unused into stormwater drains and lakes with better standards and mechanisms for wastewater treatment and reuse we can reduce bengaluru's dependence on its rapidly depleting groundwater reserves and the kaveri river the water guzzling construction sector for instance could use this alternate source this is just one example the water balance exercise can help us identify other ways to reduce freshwater consumption optimize water flows in the city and plan for flood mitigation to know more read our report how water flows through bengaluru